sooner rather than later. Yeah, they'll get all bruised. Yeah, they get bruised during the portage. So, not like we've done. There we go. 1.8k through the bush. Algonquin Park covered in mosquitoes. But I'm head to toe covered with netting. Thick clothes. It's going to be hot, but at least it's not as pesky as swanting mosquitoes all day. So this is a second day. First day we had a pretty long portage, another 2K. Uh, and uh, we're leaving our bags at the beginning because we brought so much stuff. So we're making uh, a couple trips, so 2K turns into six. The last portage we had, about 1K in, kind of sucked. Uh, the path was washed out, so we had to do another, like, 10 meter portage which just killed us you know to take all the bags off pack the canoes again go for you know one or two paddle strokes and unpack everything get all set up again it was a lot beautiful weather for the first day and today we're looking at rain coming up in the in the trip so the next campsite we get i think we've talked about uh getting something and hunk hunkering down for two days make it a really good camp setting up all the flies and everything we can just to keep dry you know it'll be pretty good fishing and we'll play cards keep busy go on hikes when the rain stops should be pretty fun we camped out on an island last night islands are the best for the wind keeps the mosquitoes away we had a pretty good night as far as bugs go. Hopefully tonight's similar. Thankfully I will be doing this trip again without the canoe on my shoulders to go get another bag because when you're walking through the bush with a canoe on your shoulders you can't see pretty much any of the forest. So could be walking by a moose right now going what the hell is this guy doing? Talking to himself. <laughs> walking through the bush. What a weirdo. So it's been a pretty good trip so far. And hopefully uh, the rain doesn't kill our spirits. Well, here's a, uh, if it isn't a bear den, it will be right along the trail. That's, uh, yeah, that's a bear den if I've ever seen one. We're gonna be anyways. <sighs> yeah, it's not easy. Lucky it's not any hotter. <laughs> uh, so you gotta be in a pretty much rain suit. <clears throat> on a mask. To, uh, to be protected from these bugs. Pretty nice though. I'm back <laughs> on this episode of Canoe Commentary. Everybody in my party is dead and I'm all alone. <laughs> so I feel like I feel like I'm about halfway. I feel like I want to say I'm 900 to 1000 meters. But uh, I know from experience when you feel like you're halfway you're not, you're not even close. You're just starting. <laughs> you're maybe a quarter of the way. And it's best not to have too much hope that around the corner I'm gonna be on a downhill heading down to the water, get out of these bugs. Uh, so things to keep in mind when you're doing stuff like this, having a yoke pad. This is the yoke here, it's resting on your shoulders. Right now it's just smooth wood. Having a, a nice pad for that uh, would come in handy. My, uh, my uncle has one he's using. Ooh. Something else you don't realize, maybe uh, walking the backpack 
first might have been a good idea just to get a lay of the land because sometimes these paths they fork off into two and one's an easy path and one's a harder you know incline with some rock steps or something that uh, and you don't normally get to choose when you can only see eight feet in front of you you just got to pick left or right and the less often you have to set this thing down the better because that'll wear you out too just dropping this thing and throwing it back on your shoulders and the second you stop like the bugs are bad when you're just walking but uh, there's probably a hundred of them following me right now and when you stop they surround you pretty quick so the biggest thing is to keep moving for sure Whew. Hopefully when we get to Big Trout Lake, catch some nice big fish for dinner and have beautiful weather and she's all worth it. So the youngest in our group, Lucas, he ran ahead there, carrying the heavy pack, pretty proud of him. And uh, my buddy Matt, he thought he had a bug or something in in his coat so he had to totally strip all his gear off to try to get at this bug it didn't end up being any bug but now you're standing like i said in that swarm of 100 mosquitoes and he's got to just keep moving so i saw him double back for uh probably another pack take it halfway kind of thing yeah that's that's definitely a method too. just constantly bring your bag as far as you can and then you know drop it off your shoulders drop the canoe off your shoulders and walk back yourself <sighs> just just gives you those little breaks to get water and catch your breath a bit i'm trying to see if i can make it with the canoe you want to see this is one of those paths i'm seeing if i can make it with the canoe the full 1800 meters might be a bit ambitious because that last 2k was pretty tough and the last time I did a portage like this was two years ago with my uncle and you know you learn a lot doing this kind of stuff I was uh I think we were doing some pretty long ones though, like 4K. And thankfully the weather is a lot better now. You know, we're in the 20s still. But when him and I were doing it, it was like plus 30 and very humid. So we were dripping a lot. And I uh, went out, uh, worked on buddy Matt's land and uh, bought a couple of these bug shirts. And I tell you, they make a difference. We were out there working on his land, running a chainsaw, and um, you couldn't keep those things back. It was unbearable. So a few uh, full bug suits definitely helps. Takes a bit to uh, get used to. They're kind of in your face, and wearing a nice big brim hat definitely helps keep it away from your face. Gives you some some room to breathe, and uh, you know you kind of feel it tickling tickle your face sometimes. And, but just the reprieve from the bugs definitely makes it worth it. Good purchase. Okay, that's the end of uh, canoe commentary. <laughs> Catch on the flip side. So I think I'm at the very end. Of the 1800 meter portage that I'm about to do two more times. And this time we're not coming out to you'll be able to see it we're coming out to a river i am swarming there's a thousand mosquitoes and even through this suit they're getting me so i'm gonna let you go
There's the old spot where we came out. A beautiful little fishing and swimming spot right here. Just drops right off. And just a beautiful view. Supposed to get rain tomorrow, so we're soaking up today. <clears throat> come over here. We have site number one. Site number two. Nice benches, decent little fire pit. Nice little island to go hopefully find wood before it gets dark. So, here I'll show you, Lucas. Maybe you can die, it, but I'll just I'll show, I'll show you. Yeah, if you can dive out. Uh, I haven't checked everywhere. I don't see any other big rocks. Oh, I just passed everything I needed. Uh, my life.